Hey Cancer, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali, aka uh, Owl Tarot, and I am so excited you guys are joining me for your week, your weekly reading, your weekly love reading here. Uh, what is coming towards you guys this week? Before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, comment below. Let me know if this reading is resonating for you. Click on the notification bell so you can get notified when I post a new readings. If you're a returning subscriber, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. I honestly, truly appreciate every single one of you guys. All right, as you guys all know, my readings are meant to be timeless general love readings, so it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Um, this reading can have to do with new love or past love, so don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And guys, time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you're meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot, so please reverse the roles as need be. Cancer, I'm not going to lie to you, but I feel <clears throat> this reading is an extension of your weekend reading. So if you have yet to hear your weekend reading, please hear that reading and then move on to this one, because I feel strongly that this is an extension to that reading. Alrighty, Cancer, let's get started here. There is somebody coming in here recklessly, recklessly, desperately trying to save this connection with you, okay? This person is knocking anything and everything out of their way to get to you. They are holding on to you for dear life with the Four of Pentacles here. They are going to fight for this connection. They are not going to be beat. This person is going to use all the tricks and trades that they have hidden to be able to get you back. This person is going to be passionate in their fighting. They're going to be very straightforward. They're going to tell you where they fucked up, why they fucked up, why were this king of wands, why were they this king of wands in the connection. They're also going to try to get you to understand this connection is an imbalance. We can still work on it. We can still bring everything back to balance. Give me a chance. Give me an opportunity, please. I want to fix this with you. This person does not want you to pack up and leave with the six of swords. They don't want you to go anywhere. This person is going to stop you with any single with, with every single tactic they have in the book this person's going to try to stop you but you cancer are pissed you are pissed okay with this queen of swords i don't think you're gonna want to be hearing this person i don't think you're gonna allow this person to give you an opportunity to explain because i feel that you think that things here in this situation are out of control with the wheel of fortune in the reverse you feel that things aren't right you feel that this person what they did to you in the past is never going to change. You just feel that this connection has lost its momentum. And, and you're ready to move on. But this person is trying to stop you because they have come to realize that you are the one. They have come to realize that they do have a lot of love for you. And you're the one that they want to be able to change for. You're the one that they want to be able to build a life with. Let's get a little bit of more clarification here. Alrighty, universe, let's see here. You're going to be using your intuition in this connection, okay? You're going to stop and you're going to think and you're going to use your intuition regarding this connection. You want victory. You do want victory. You both want victory, but you're still in your intuition. You're still trying to figure out, is this person lying? Is this person just trying to tell me what I want to hear so I can stay? What is this person up to, okay? You feel that this person, this person at one point was your nine of cups here, was your wish fulfillment. And you don't see him or her like that anymore, okay? You have decided to pull your energy. You have decided to stop working on this connection because you are ready to move on. You are tired of all the past things that you and this person went through. You don't want to deal with it anymore. This person wants reconciliation with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to be able to bring this connection back. Why? Because this person sees you as their emperor, okay? They see you as the emperor. They see you as the king or king of all, okay? You have everything they've ever wanted. Everything that they were trying to seek in all those people, you have it in one, okay? Oh my God, look at the emperor and the empress. This person sees you as their soulmate. This person is not going to let you go. This person is not going to let you go. This person has been illuminated. After you decided to walk away, after you decided to... to do what you had to do this person had an aha moment here with the moon things came to light this person came to realize holy shit my cancer she or he is everything i've ever wanted what am i doing i'm letting my future leave i'm letting my person go what am i doing and this person is gonna come and fight 
be very passionate about fighting for this, they're not going to let you go. They're going to try to convince you on all levels that they can balance things back out with you, that they can work on this connection with you. But please, please, please don't leave me. Please give me another chance. Please give me the opportunity to be able to to work with you. But you are setting your ways and you may end up walking away. You may end up walking away because you feel that there's nothing else that you can grow in this connection. You feel that the damage has already been done. But this person is going to try to convince you, please don't leave. Please give me another chance. Please, please, please. I want to be able to come... I want to be able to come towards you and apologize. I want to show you my love with this page of cups. I want to be affectionate. Please allow me one more opportunity. Please take my teeny tiny little cup of love here and allow me to show you how big this cup of love can grow. But you feel that this person missed an opportunity with you. You feel that this person had their chance and you're ready to move on. And I don't know if you might give this person another chance, but keep in mind it. it People can change. Things can change. I'm not saying take this person back and I'm not saying leave this person. I'm just saying things can change. Things can always be something else, but it's only up to you. Use your intuition with this high priestess here. Use that intuition to know, to be able to guide you on the right path. Okay, Cancer? But I definitely feel this is an extension of your weekend reading. Okay? Let's see here. What's going on? Look at attraction and let your friends help you. This person... <laughs> This person is reaching out to all your friends, okay? This person is reaching out to everyone, asking for support, asking for help, okay? This person wants to be able to work with you. This person is attracted to you. Apart from being attracted to you, this person knows that you're their soulmate. They have a lot of love for you. This person doesn't want to let you go. I feel this anxiety within me, like... <gasps> I'm even getting short of breath. Like, oh my God, my, my cancer is leaving. What am I going to do? Oh my God, oh my God. Like, that. that's the energy I feel right now. What else, universe? What other advice do we have for cancer here in regards to this person? Okay. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual types and expectations. So you're being asked to keep an open mind in regards to this connection. Okay? This person once was a soulmate for you. You've seen them as your wish fulfillment. You've seen them a certain way. But now you're going to see the vulnerable in this person. Now you're going to get to know this person's other side where anxiety with fear, with sadness and depression looks in this person. Okay? So they're asking you to keep an open mind because this person's going to come towards you as a total different person. They're not that confident in and out energy anymore. They're not that confident um, emperor in the reverse anymore. They're not egotistical. No. This person is coming in with their heart on their sleeve and getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens this person wants another opportunity for you guys to be able to get to know each other for you guys to be able to have true love at the bottom of the deck guys for for you guys to be able to do things in a different way they want it they want they want to they want to give they want you to give them the opportunity to get to, to know the real person that they are the real person that they can be the real partner that they can be okay so this is why this person is desperate to come in here and show you how he or she can really be with you after you walked away after you've made a decision to cut them out this person is coming in here and there is nothing holding this person back all right, Cancer, I hope this resonates for you guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.